My name is Riley, I'm 12 years old and I live in Tennessee. I love to read, play my flute, and spend time with my family. Her eyes were drifting a lot. She's had a couple of surgeries. Once she got glasses and got bifocals, we did notice, you know, she's seeing more than she was. And then just over time, you know, running into things or not seeing things that are right in front of her. I don't know that it necessarily became obvious until we were aware of the full scope of what was going on with her. Let me tell you that she also has cerebral palsy and she's also on the autistic spectrum. So everything kind of plays together. She does have cortical visual impairment, strabismus, and then she has homonymous hemianopsia. The other thing that affects her greatly is the optic atrophy. Seeing the TV or smart board at school, reading small print, participating in sports, basketball. I really wanted to play basketball. <laughs> Can't. Navigating through large crowds, easily tired and overstimulated. Plus my eyes becoming tired, which makes it hard to focus. Once they got them fit to her, she was able to read. Typically when she reads, she holds things right up at her nose. She was able to read 2010 with the ESI that day. And that was sitting back in the chair away from the board that they were showing her. And I think we were on the fifth floor that day and she was able to find my car in the parking lot and read the tag number off of it. Sometimes she can be standing right in front of something and not see that. So that was a pretty big deal for her. It helps me to see things like my sister's dance recitals, plays, movies, TV. It has also helped me to be able to begin learning to read music and to see the board in my classroom without having to sit at the very front of the class. I can take my east side anywhere because it is very mobile, which allows me to see things I wouldn't have otherwise. The east side also allows me to take pictures that I can store on my iPad or iPod. It also helps me to avoid eye or brain fatigue. Before we were using, we have a handheld magnifier, we have a CCTV, we have a monocular, we have a dome magnifier, all of these things that she's having to carry around and the ESOP puts that in one and she can take it wherever she goes and not have to worry about keeping up with everything else. It's all just in one thing. so. That's very helpful for her. Riley is one of those kids, never lets anything stop her. We sat down and we talked about these things before this interview because I knew Riley would say everything was okay because that's what she does. She never complains. She just goes with the flow. She's always happy. She doesn't let it stop her. She doesn't know that she's any different. You know, we've just seen a lot more independence and her being able to see Everything that we see when we felt like she was losing that before, you know?